Trying to have some better looks starting the ARC-7 today. Got plenty of two stroke oil now for the pre-mix. And gotta get some gas. Back into this unfinished looking shop. Nice to see they're consistent with not working on it at least. Fresh gas in, fresh two stroke oil in. I guess we can try to start it again. Can't really tell, but it's pretty smoky in here. Just started my car to see if it would start. It did. Can't really see the smoke too well. Okay. Well, there you go. See what happens here. Fancy. Certainly doesn't like to start. Maybe this time. Maybe not. I should have just bought an SR20. Fuck this. but it runs. I think it might just need to warm up a little bit first. I don't know yet. Well I found the issue. That is leaking a lot of fuel. Time to figure out where it's coming from. It's very wet up here. But where? Is it leaking? Hmm. Let's figure this out. All right, figured a few things out. Had a few leak, as you just saw. Fix that. Time to see if it's gonna run any better. Knowing my luck with this car, probably not. Some lights just to look cool. Here she goes. Funny how it runs better when it's not leaking fuel. ready to put it back on the ground now looking at how much angle this villain's drift kit gave me because I've never actually done that before pretty neat can't really see anything here but let me get a light there we go good view of my stance coils that is the villain's modded knuckle extended ball joint I feel like I didn't even do anything different I put some RTV on there, but that's not even where it was leaking from. It was leaking from the hose. I took it off and then put it back on, and now it's just not leaking anymore. Easy fix, I guess. But well, finally, the last thing I need to do, bend up another coat hanger for this exhaust, because my old coat hanger broke, and that is what I use for my exhaust hanger. Once I do that, car's going back on the ground. Maybe I'll drive it. And of course, the king is always watching us. I had to come in the shop through a side door to get in. Walk through a whole bunch of snow. Because Jason won't give me my key back. Thanks a lot, Jason. Looks like they've done a little work in this shop. The shop that's not even being rented out by anyone. But our shop that we actually rent and want to use, nothing. 
crazy, man. It's crazy. Super Bowl yeah, Sunday dude. prep. Yeah, I know. I didn't even know you. Last thing to do before putting my car on the ground. Gotta hang this exhaust somehow. I bought this exhaust hanger, cheap stuff from AutoZone. I don't know if I can make it work or not, but it's worth a try at least. Otherwise, I'll go back to the coat hanger method. Sense to you, but it makes sense to me. This is about how it needs to go to hang my exhaust. So I'm gonna see what I can rig up using that shape now. One down, one to go. Looks good enough for me. The fire department hates it, but I put our ladder up again. Sure is sketchy, so I, I get why they don't like it. But gotta get door storage somehow. Just a little test fit so I can light up my exhaust before paint or wrap, obviously. Still don't know what color I want to do. My exhaust is hung. I think my car can go back on the ground now. Should probably check it over real quick, but I don't think there's anything left to do while my car is on jack stands. There it is. After a long winter that's still not over, car is back on the ground. Now it's definitely time to think about what color to make it. Got them new stickers made. Four bucks a piece. Who wants one? I should have filmed that, but it wasn't that exciting. I just hit a bunch of wires, tightened them up a little bit. Still gotta figure out what to do with these. Probably not a whole lot, except just zip time together so they look organized. And figure out what to do next. Gonna need more zip ties in here. Plenty of wires. All this shit. Should I hook up this radio? That'd be cool to have in here. Maybe I'll try it. It still doesn't want to start. Definitely doesn't like to stay running when it's cold either. Gonna get it running and bleed the coolant and see what else I might need to do. Especially when it's cold, mostly when it's cold I'd say. The shop that did my car thought it's because of the seals I used, so I replaced them all with OEM Mazda seals. So I don't know if that's it and it just needs to like break in or something, but so far it's no different. But I also don't really have any miles on it since the rebuild, so maybe that's it. I don't know. You tell me. The idle sounds pretty rough too, but again, it is cold, so maybe it just needs to warm up a little bit. The final stages, bleeding the coolant. And if I could move all that shit out of my way, I may even be able to test drive it. Actually, with all the snow outside, I definitely would not be driving this today. Looks like a fresh rebuild to me. Don't forget about the new stickers. The electric fan works. That's good. That looks like oil. Maybe it's just dirty from the old radiator. So. I don't know. Hopefully it's fine because I don't really want to have to rebuild anything else again. That's what my coolant left behind. I don't think that looks too great. My car runs and drives. A little questionable, but we'll deal with that at another day. Still more stuff to do. Still real snowy outside, so I can't drive it. It is a fresh rebuild though, so maybe it'll run it for I don't know, 50 miles, 100 miles, and then figure it out from there. Did a little rearranging of my uh, gauges here because the boost gauge vacuum line was completely kinked with how far back it was pulled so I'm thinking maybe now that will be good that's it for today 
Time to go home and order some vinyl samples and figure out what color I want to make my car now.